Welcome to Spiritual and Empowerment Living with international speaker, spiritual mentor, and best-selling author, Tia Johnson, as she discusses spiritual and women's empowerment topics to assist you in igniting your spirituality and empowering your quality of life. Let's welcome your host, Tia Johnson. Hello and welcome back, spiritual trailblazers. I can't wait to dive into today's topic, your two-word story, with our amazing guest, Aliyah Sobel. And I met her fairly recently, guys, but I felt like I'd known her my whole life because that's how easy it is to get to know her, just that whole nurturing and the, the space she creates when she talks to you, which you will discover in a few moments. So... Alia Sobo, CEO and creator of the Two Word Story Mindset Movement. Uh, she is a mindset interrupter and mindset blogger. She loves to slay negativity and help all over, help others all over the world to do the same. She created this mindset tool for herself and found it to be a simple, potent, and powerful mindset mantra. Start your day the right way and set your mind up for success. The simplicity of the two words will propel, focus, and empower you throughout the day. Her passion purpose is to help others set their mind ablaze with creativity, determination, inspiration, and fuel them with the positivity to make it through the day. Being an extrovert introvert who overcame had a bad postpartum depression and anxiety, this mindset mantra has helped her level the heck up in life. So she is here for it, to share, learn, and grow with you all. The two-word story mindset movement has been catching steam and can't rock this movement without you. So make sure you check her out. Two-word story blog at aliasobo.com. You can connect with her on Instagram, and I'm going to put the links for that in the description of this episode. So her blog, her Instagram, all that jazz. And if you're in Philly, look for the two word story events and workshops workshop to be rolling your way. Alia, welcome. Thanks, Tia. Hi. That was so lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, well, thank you for being on the show. So even w- when I met you, we sat down at Starbucks. And I was just like, man, what great energy. I am just so thrilled and thankful for the the internet <laughs> that allow people to connect. Me and too. yeah, just like, it's, it's really important to be in a, a space with, especially women, to have a, a place to talk and to share your story, to really understand how that plays a part in your life. So how did you come up with that two word story? Oh yeah, no, it's, it's, you know, um, being from personal experience, it's, it's really, it's a simple mindset tool, but how I started it was very simple. It was through journaling and, um, I needed to deep dive into Alia and who I was, you know, being a mom and 10 years into mom life, I realized it was time to reevaluate and see like, okay, what's next as far as, you know, for me as a person. And I, I always want to set a good example for the kids. And, and so I just knew I needed a change from what I was currently doing as far as my career went. And I started journaling because it's amazing what even taking two minutes will do to clear your head and whatever's in the front of your mind and writing it down it allows you to open up and really just um, think a lot more clearly. So what ended up happening was, is one thing about journaling and a lot of people will say they don't do it because it's time consuming. And I kind of found that for myself. I was like, I was very staying very consistent with it, but I also needed to, I found myself titling the, the journal entry. So I would get done and I was like, I wonder what I would call this day and how I describe it, you know? And so I added two words to the top of the journal entry, but then I started the next day using it as my mantra. And the first ever two word story was keep going. So Mm -hmm. what was going on in my week? And at that moment, I really felt that those two words were 
something that was like how I wanted my, I wanted to keep going through it. Like I just needed to keep pushing through. So um, it was just so, so powerful for myself. And then I guess I just felt that urge. I, was, I started to share it with close friends and, and then my sisters and, you know, it just kind of, it just felt very natural just to be like, well, let me, let me flow and see if I could put this out there into the social media world. And if it's helping me and others that are close in my life, maybe it can help other people. So then that's what prompted me to um, hop on social media. And I literally on October 22nd of 2018. So I just hit one year anniversary of sharing two word story. Um, on October 22nd, I sat in my kitchen for like five hours re-recording the video saying, Hey guys, this is, Al I'm Alia. This is two word story and what it's all about. I can't even tell you. It was just like, it feels like it was yesterday. Um, and I, I put that video out there with hashtags and I was just like, let's see where this goes, you know, and see how it could help other people out there. And wow. that's that. That's amazing. The power of the written word. That is, that, that's so powerful. And, and I remember being a, a kid and, and having a pen pal and that was a big thing. And, and now I'm starting to see people getting back into writing because we text a lot and we right. send a lot of emails, but writing and really just figuring out your day for people to have a two word mantra I feel like that would just help bring their day together, even if they're doing it at night as like a yeah. reflection. Do, do you feel that that's what it's like to some extent when people do it different times of the day? Oh, absolutely. I, for myself, sometimes I have to say, I, admittedly, I even will change my two word story midday, but mm -hmm. I do best journaling at night. Everyone has to find their rhythm. And I know people who like to wake up with their morning coffee and write in their journal. Mm -hmm. So it's all about your personal routine and how you can settle into a consistent, you know, routine and everything. But I do find that because, so the two word story is a mindset mantra. It's about being mindful for even just five minutes and you don't even necessarily need to write. I, I do like to share in workshops how important and I, we do a journaling, we do some journaling within the workshop. Um, mm. And I find that some days if I don't have time to actually write in my journal, because also I will admit, I don't do it every day. I don't necessarily have time, but I'm still asking myself, what's my two word story today? And it's that asking and that reflection in your mind that lets you dig and, and, and be in the forefront, like in the front of your mindset. And it, it really does give you that powerful level up and know that like, okay, I know I have this work meeting or I have to get this with the kids or whatever it is in your day that, you know, you could potentially be facing struggle. Um, I, I just think that it's so powerful just to ask yourself, you know, or even for the week. So for me personally, I have a few two word stories. A lot of people ask me, do you change your two word story every day? Um, I, I have an umbrella 2019 or a year two word story. And then I have a seasonal, I like uh, reflecting on the season ahead and picking a two word story mantra for the whole season. And then under there, I usually, I check in every week and then sometimes it's daily. I, you know, and even sometimes it's a silly fun, it's wine time because mm -hmm. my mantra throughout my day is like, I can get like, if it's a really, really like packed day with calls and meetings and driving here, driving there, I'm like wine time, wine time, wine time. Like that's a glass of wine in my hand on my couch. I am striving. I'm getting there, you know? So it's like, a, it could be a simple two word story like that, you know, for a Friday or something. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's about your, it's about picking it from your heart and really just taking just a few minutes to think like, what's my two word story today? What do I want my two words to be? That is so productive and enlightening because Aww. it's not rigid. You know, it's, it's not like I have to come up with this and I got to stick to this. It's like, what do you feel? How does it come to you? You can change it midday. You know, you can reflect on it at nighttime. That is so, like, I'm, I'm really trying to find the words because it's, it's just like 
for, for me is just touching my soul because we go through so many emotions throughout the day. And mm -hmm. I think to be able to acknowledge that really speaks volume. So I, I, I just want to appreciate that you said you can change it and, and you have an overarching one and you have a seasonal one. Yeah. No, I appreciate you cluing in, you know, tuning into that. It's important to be kind to ourselves. And that, that circles right back to what you're saying about the being able to change it. You know, something can change in the, in the drop of a dime, right? In your day. And so um, it's just taking that mindful practice and setting your mind to, towards that goal of like, you know, it, it's not, it's not always easy. I mean, um, I, I was in a very, very low point in my life. Um, and I, I know that through personal experience and, and life experience that when you can honor yourself and give yourself that silent, quiet time to just decide how you want your day to go, I feel like it's, it's life changing, you know? Um, because we're all, you're our, we are our own vessel. We're the ones who are running our ship and our day. And, you know, the universe is completely hearing and reacting to the way that we are putting ourselves out there. So if I'm going to wake up in my day and immediately think, oh, today's going to be awful. It's so long. I have so many meetings. Um, if you're just going to kind of flow through the day like that, then most likely something's going to go wrong. It's going to just get worse mm -hmm. instead of waking up and saying like, this is what my two word story mantra is. Keep smiling or smile more or, you know, self love. Like w there's so many beautiful two word stories that have just rocked my world and my heart. And it's, it's incredible. So it's, it's, it's all about that mindset. That's why I'm so, so, so adamant about mindset, mindset, mindset. Um, just try to change the channel. What can you do to, to keep yourself leaning towards the positive? Because I'm also somebody who will say, you know, if you need to have a bad day, have that bad day, right? Mm -hmm. Don't you feel like we're, people are thinking I'm like, just stay positive, always be positive. Well, no, sometimes you need, you need to sit and cry. You need to, you need to be feeling what it is that's going on in your life. But being able to switch and change the channel in your mind so that you can level yourself up and say, I'm in struggle right now, but I'm going to snuggle this struggle and I'm going to see what I can do to learn from it. So it's like this whole mindset tool kind of lets you reflect and um, be able to really change your perspective on how you're handling things in life. And then the universe will reward you because you're, you're setting your mind on a more positive tra track, right? Mm -hmm. That's how I look at it. <laughs> no, that, that's really lovely. There's, there's two things that I definitely want to key in on because I, I really know that it's something people need to hear a couple of times. One mm -hmm. thing you talked about is being in silence, being in that quiet space, and yeah. also about having that bad day. Mm -hmm. People tend to be afraid or they just don't like the quietness. They feel like they have to have something going on in the background. They feel like, you know, if, if it's too quiet, I can't be still. I, I need to have something going on. And with the bad day, it, it's, it's almost ingrained in us that right. everyone has a bad day, but what makes you so special that you get to have your bad day? And it's like, pull up your, your bootstraps, you know, all that. And it's just, it, it, it makes people think, dang, I really can't acknowledge that feeling. My, my life has to be rainbows and butterflies because I'm not allowed to vent. So my, my question is, what are some of the things that you're constantly debunking to help people get to their two word story? That's a really good question. Um, so you mean, so if I'm one-on-one -on -one helping someone figure out their two word story? Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, really it starts with a simple you know, question you ask yourself, you know, what do I have going on right now in this actual moment that is causing me stress or anxiety, mm -hmm. or am I depressed about something and, and pinpointing why, you know, is it an argument that you got into with your spouse? 
Is it, um, are you, are you struggling financially? You know, really being able to pinpoint and say, this is what's really bothering me right now. And I just don't feel, I feel like I can't get through it. Or so it's really just asking yourself simple questions, which I actually have a two word story journal that I am almost done producing and it actually Ooh. guides you. Yay. I know it's for 2020 and it, 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 it um, asks you these questions that will trigger your mind to be like, okay, it'll take you down the path of figuring out your two word story. Mm. Um, and so my number one thing is I'm always about simplicity. I like to keep it really simple. So what is your struggle? Why, why is it a struggle? And then how, how do you see yourself coming out of it? What can you do? And a lot of times I, I, I tend to challenge people and I've, I have gotten thanks for it. And I think sometimes I can even be a little too hard, but I'm like, no excuses. You know, you said you were going to commit to this. So like, why, why, why are you not able to make a change here? And then we just go deeper into the why, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I think for every person, it's hard for me to say what's the actual process because each conversation I have is so different. Um, and some people really quickly come up with their two word story. They just know, you know, um, like fear less or I've thousands of two word stories I've seen and they've been shared and your two word story determined goddess. I mean, the power behind that, you know, um, and you took time to think about that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if, if you wanted to share your process on how you came up with that, I feel, don't you, don't you feel as though it just took some time to reflect and say, well, what two words would empower my heart? You right. know? Um, so it is kind of an interesting, I feel like there's no definitive, you know, science behind figuring it out. If that helps answer your question, <laughs> I'm yeah, like going on and on. Yeah. Cause it, it, it's asking the question, what's the real issue or what's the real concern? And yeah, when, when I was figuring out my two word story, I was really trying to figure out what really represented or, or represents what I'm doing and how I feel and the, the journey. And the, the journey was all about being determined, determined to figure out who really is Tia, what's the, what, what is Tia's purpose mm -hmm. and, you know, what, what would it take for me to get to that? And it, it takes a lot of determination because motivation comes and goes and, you know, that fluctuates there's always going to be setbacks, but the determination is what has gotten me this far, you, you know, with, with all the uh, emotional roller coasters of being an entrepreneur and trying to have a, a, a work-life balance. And, and then the goddess portion was me, you know, figuring out, okay, I am really into spirituality and I'm really into helping women figure out who they truly are and unlocking that aspect of them, their, their, uh, their gifts and, and really being able to show up in the world as they are being fearless really in, in that process. Right. And, I, and I thought, you know what, a goddess represents all that. So it's that up. was my process for a determined goddess. It's so powerful. Cause if you think like, you know, on, you know, Monday of next week, whatever your day entails, like letting determined goddess circling back to that and letting it just literally fuel you and, 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 and get you to elevate and rise above. Like, it's just so, it's so powerful. Um, I'm constantly circling back to my 2019 toward story as well. So I like being reflective. I think, uh, like you said, you brought up the importance of silence. That's another part of, you know, the message of two word story is, you know, it's meditation, but meditation doesn't have to be sitting, you know, in a room with silence, listening to, you know, peaceful music. It's, you know, for me, sometimes my meditation is I'm sitting in my car in traffic and I'm literally stuck and I'm staring at the sky and how beautiful the clouds are moving by. Mm -hmm. But 
I don't have the music on. I'm not looking at my phone. I'm not on my phone talking to somebody. I'm literally just, they're silent, like taking in what's around me, you know? Um, so I think that that silence is really important to, to then remember and reflect on the, what's my two word story and how, how am I doing right now? Like, let me check in with myself. Self-love and, and checking in with yourself is, it's huge. It's everything. I had to learn this. My goodness, I completely forgot how important it is to put, put yourself first, you know? Absolutely. Um, and one thing I, I really love about the two-word story is like what you were saying, it, it snaps you back into re remembering who you are and really what you're capable of. When you think about it, we deal with so many personalities each day, whether it's in person, via email, and we're in traffic, and we're ordering food, <laughs> you know, it goes on and on. Yes. And sometimes things don't work out. And it's so easy for us to slip back into our mm -hmm. default mode, because our brains are just wired to help mm -hmm. us survive. And we had to remember that, wait a minute, we're not just survivors, we are thrivers. And oh, that's right. My two word story is, you know, fill in the blank, whatever your two word story is. And then it's like, wait a minute, I totally got this. This is a setback partially out of my control, but because of my two word story, I now know how to deal with this situation. I'm not being so reactive. Right. Right. That's exactly right. And even like back to the traffic point, I think about, you know, I know friends of mine who say they're so cranky after being in traffic and then they walk in the door at their, at home and they're taking that cranky vibe and bringing it right inside to their loved ones. And mm -hmm. that's no way to, for anyone, you know, it makes, it makes the, you, the person walking into the house feel yucky too. So what's the point of that, right? Like you could be sitting there in your car and make it more of a practice to be like, this is my two word story so that I can walk in being uplifted. You know, like when you just said thrive, because we are, it's fight or flight. Like a lot of people are in survival mode because society is so busy. It's so fast. We're all moving, moving, moving. Mm -hmm. And um, I, what came to mind just now for me was thrive mode as a two word story. Mm. Like instead of being in survival mode, be in thrive mode. Like what am I going to do to thrive? I'm going to walk in that door and I'm going to give my husband a hug rather than walk in and be like, why didn't you do this or that? Like it's all mm -hmm. about how you want your life to flow and feel right. Um, I like thrive mode though. Isn't that good? That nice is one. good. That that's really <laughs> good because I, I just like imagine some really cool background music too. It's like right? thrive mode, and then yeah. like some. <laughs> I'm so cheesy. I'm so cheesy. I'm like I'm always thinking of two word stories. Always writing them down. My goodness. No, that that's great. Actually, I I have said this on the podcast many a times that. I have a lot of notebooks. I mean, some of them mm -hmm. are already filled and I make a lot of notes in the notes section on my phone. So you're like me, two word stories come to you very easily. You're like, oh, two word, boom, write this down, write this down. For me, it's just a bunch of ideas pending that, you know, some of them mm -hmm. probably won't even happen until like 2021 or something like that. But, you know, it's, it's us in, in our flow, like you just said, in the zone. And the thing is, so much of our day is dedicated to our work. And I didn't yeah. realize this until years ago, whereas, you know, you, you wake up at a certain time. So let's just take like a, 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 a typical nine to five job person who works nine to five. They wake up probably an hour 30 before they had to go to work. So they make time, you know, to wash uh, traffic. Then you at work for eight hours. Then you got to go home traffic. So more than half the day is dedicated somewhere else, not towards you, not towards your family, nothing else, just work alone. And so now you got to come home and you got to shift gears, but that's hard to do for some people. So that two word story will make it so much easier where you can say, wait a minute. Yes, I was in traffic. There was a delay, but I'm coming home to my husband, my dog, my kids, whomever you're coming home to. Let me right. shift my mind before I enter <laughs> my home. Right, right, right. And it could be you're entering to your home. And it's you and you, right. you're, you're living on your own, which is very, very amazing. But I have friends of mine that live um, in their house by themselves and they're like, it's lonely, you know? So how do you want to walk in the door? Do you want to walk in the door and bring a lonely vibe or, 
you know, two word story is like, it's, it's a tool in your toolbox of mindset and, and how just law of attraction and how you want. And, and this ties into the spiritual trailblazers because I really do believe like you, I feel like we are our own destiny, right? We, our minds literally can manifest everything that is in happening in our lives. Mm-hmm. Um, and if, if we're going to go about each day, stressed, 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 what does that do? That brings about more stress, unfortunately, and can make you sick as well, yeah. you know? So it's like, really think here and let it sink in. Like, you know, you, you should, we should all be doing the things for ourselves that, and I'm, I, I say level up a lot, but like really, really freaking level up. Like Mm -hmm. give yourself that opportunity to wake up and smile and be happy despite the uh, bullshit that's going on in your life right now. Cause every single person that you walk past has struggle in their life. And I, I always like to say that all struggle is struggle. You know, I don't, there are some very, very serious, you know, things that are going on in the world and in people's lives and, I just, I don't like to downplay that if someone, you know, has something they're like, oh, well, it's so, it's so minor what I'm, what I'm struggling with. Well, no, it's still struggle and you should still address it, you know? Mm-hmm. So, um, what, what, you know, just being mindful and making, having those tools. So, you know, thank you for letting me share two word story. Cause this is an opportunity for people to learn something that they can use for themselves and they can call upon their two word story when they need to. You know, Mm -hmm. if you feel like you're in a funk or someone saying that, you know, you're, you're complaining a lot or you're, you're in a negative phase. Well, reflect on that and, and you can change that course. It's it's up to you. It's up to all of us. Right. Um, so yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's so powerful because, you know, forget the new year's resolutions, have a two year or excuse me, a two word story, you know, yeah. just as you were saying earlier, you know, you have, you have your, your overarching, your 2019 two mm-hmm. word story. And that's what will keep people on track, you know, because I, I, this is already November. Right. And I know people are already starting, you know, get in the, the midst of holiday season. And before you know it, it's going to be January 2nd and people are going to think about losing weight, new year, new me, you know, and all those things mm-hmm. that they leaving behind but are they really and the two word story is asking you what is the real issue the real issue isn't about weight loss the real issue is about new year new me the real issue Mm -hmm. is about getting you to a place where you are comfortable with yourself right and absolutely yeah you're showing up with the world and to in the world just like that and i am just so adamant about that because i'm just between talking with women and reading stories a lot of the, the issues had to do with not being able to show up in the world as yourself. And that includes being able to express your emotions. You know, just like you, you, you were just saying, you know, everyone has a struggle. And, and just because your struggle is this and that person struggles that, it doesn't, it, it, it's not a weight contest. No, <laughs> yeah. right. Mm-hmm. You know, just that this is why I, I'm just, again, so grateful that you are on this show to talk about this because I just, I know, and I feel it because it even helped me that getting to know your two word story, whether it's the yearly two word story, monthly, however you want to break it down, that's going to be so powerful to get people on track or back on track and then stay on track. Yes, I agree. And it's like two word story is like, reflect, 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 like ask yourself, check in with yourself. You know, um, that is the number one thing. Like if, if you're not taking a minute to just stop and think and, and, and decide for yourself, like, am, am I happy right now? And if I'm not, what can I do to change it? I can, you know, come up with this two word story and, you know, and, and live that damn mantra, like, like really repeat it to yourself. You know, there, there's days where I'm like patience first patients first. I mean, I'm a mom, I have two yeah. kids, like, you know, and, and I'm telling you at three o'clock when they're, you know, it's 
towards the end of the day and I'm like, okay, patience first. Like, don't, mm -hmm. they're just little kids. And they're, you know, it's, it's right. like, it's, it's wild how much that mantra really plays a role when you can pick your two words. So, um, my, uh, 2019 two word story was foster growth. And mm -hmm. what's, what's interesting is like, you know, when you really think about what, what two words in the whole world of words are, are what you want to choose, you know, um, like foster growth really sunk in for me. And I'm like, what am I? And I ask myself all the time, what am I doing to foster growth for one myself, two for my kids and three for the community around, around me in two word story. Cause I knew in 2019, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to do a lot of, a lot of work with with the, with the world and with those that wanted to interact with two word story. So, um, I think I really challenge all of you and anyone who's listening, if you have a two word story and you want to share it with us, by all means, reach out to Tia and reach out to me. I love talking about it. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a powerful tool that you can use for yourself. So yeah, it's it's like changing the, the narrative. You know, if, mm -hmm. if if you were telling yourself, you know, this is as good as it's gonna get. This is as good as it's gonna get. I'm in a hamster wheel. It, mm -hmm. That becomes your reality. But what if, like you said, do some reflection and think, you know what, this can't be it because and and we notice because we see celebrities on TV, people who broke past the barriers and and sillies and have defined all types of what it should have been laws so yeah this really rewires the brain oh you know what would be really really cool yeah. to have um some some kind of way to see how it rewires the brain like if you were able to mm -hmm. uh like scan somebody's brain before and afterwards i'm because i i am confident in the fact that this definitely changed brain patterns because you're changing you're changing your mm -hmm. thought process yeah, so it's funny you say that because I have been trying to figure out a way to, because there's something about the two words. I feel like it does need to be studied. It's more than a three-word affirmation or a five-word affirmation. Mm -hmm. There's something about just having the simple two that I think it is, like it literally can trigger and change your mindset, like change. It's, it's, it's really wild. Um, and I've had so many people share that with me as well. So I am on, I, I appreciate you saying that because let's figure this out. Let's see if it's a, a scientifically study it, you know? So thank you to Alia's TED talk. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness. Gosh. We're right. getting deep. We, We're, we get are getting deep. deep. We are getting deep. But uh, yeah, I, I truly believe that. Yeah. Because the, the two words forces someone to, who would probably overthink it to, think it, think about it, but to narrow it down, because it has to be simplified. So there's that initial, oh, no, I got to come up with two words. But then once you start to narrow it down, it gets easier and easier and easier. And it, it helps you to really open up a lot of things about yourself that you probably weren't thinking about beforehand. Right. That's right. You got um, it. Well, I, I can't wait to read that report. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? If anybody out there knows somebody, no, I am always up to having conversations and collaborating. I love, love, love every single beautiful soul that I've been able to talk to. And, you know, my life is touched and we're all helping each other out there. I really believe like we have to be in this as a community together um, rather than against each other. It's like, it, that's life changing in itself. If you can just look at the person next to you in line at Starbucks or the, your coworker or, you know, um, a mom at school and just be like, you know what, we're all in this together. We're all trying to make it, make it work. So. Yeah. For really for real. So yeah. final words. Yes. So final words, I guess. Um, you know, I challenge everybody to ask themselves, what's my two word story? And I think it's very powerful because I, I find so much 
gratitude in asking others also like I see. So if you're, if you're talking to a close friend and they're really in a struggle moment, ask them and say, what's your two word story. And this is where the movement really kind of comes into play. Um, this is a mindset movement and it's, what's your two word story. And when you ask someone that question, they stop for a minute and they, you see their face thinking like, wait, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, let me think for a minute. And it's like, you're helping them shift their mindset. So it's like, mm -hmm. help, help yourself and then turn around and ask, you know, someone right next to you and close and, you know, close to your heart. What's your two word story. Mm -hmm. And just keep the momentum going and honor yourself. Come up with a 2022 word story. I'm, I'm writing them down constantly. And I know in my heart when I'm sitting in silence, it will just click what my 2020 and it's the roaring twenties. We're going into a whole new, yeah. it's crazy. Right. Um, so I'd say my final words are just pick that two word story for yourself. Ask others that are close to you around you because hearing others speak their two word story and why they chose those two words. It's really, really powerful, powerful and potent. I use those words because there is, it's just, it's like magic. So, and thank you so much for listening. Oh yeah, no problem. And I love that you said to ask someone else because you never know who you're helping. That's yeah. the thing I, I want to tell people here. My papa used to say, you know, you never know who's watching you. And, and he meant that in a different way because he was from, he served in the military. But mm -hmm. also that's, you never know who's listening to you. You, you right. never know who you are helping. So yeah, someone can have a bad day and you didn't, hey, what's your two word story? And they might say, well, what's that? And well, you, you just, you never know how you change that person's life. And some people think, oh, I, I don't have anything special about me. And I just go crazy. Like, yeah, you do. <laughs> so exactly. that, that was really beautiful. Yeah, just strike up the conversation and yeah, change. You can change someone's perspective on their day just mm -hmm. by asking that simple question. And it, if they're like, well, what is that? I just heard about it. It's a mantra that you choose for yourself with two words. So you could stay positive and, and motivated. Like, what do you think your two words would be? So it, it's, there's, you know, all the descriptions. Um, there's multiple examples on my website as well. Um, Aliasilva.com. And there's two word story TV, which is awesome. And Tia's episode is on the website. So you guys have to check that out. It's really, really good. And um, another thing that I love is that on the website, if you want to wear your two word story, I wear my two word story shirts. I have different ones that I have made up and there's a level up. There's live fearless, be limitless. And it's really cool. Like I've actually had people walk up to me and be like, I like that shirt. What is it? And I'm able to say it's my two word story. And they're like, well, what is that? Why, why is that your two-word story? It's like this powerful movement that you get to stand in your truth and be like, these are my two words. I chose these two words because, because of this reason. It's just like, hello, this is fun. It's fun. It's powerful. Let's do this together. So I'll stop talking. I like to talk. No, Here. no, you're doing just fine. I would just think I Tell need to my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it's so good. I know we'll have to get you a determined goddess shirt. Then we can rock them together in Philly. Awesome. Yes, exactly. I'm excited. Well, again, thank you so much for coming on the show. I cannot thank wait you. for people to create their two word story. Matter of fact, send me an email. Whoever creates their two word story, I don't care what the two words are. You know, don't think, oh, it's not good enough or I don't know Tia. send me your two word story and I will pass them to Alia so she can Yay. see your two word story and, and she will know all the the greatness that is definitely coming your way the more you dive into this or I should say more greatness so yeah email me Tia at TiaMarieJohnson.com send me your two word story <laughs> yes yes thank you so 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 much so much love for everybody thank you Yes. Yeah, so as always, I am rooting for you. I am sending you so many blessings. Be kind to yourself and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for joining Spiritual Living and Empowerment with Tia Johnson. Don't forget to subscribe and tune into the next show. 
Want to continue the conversation with Tia? Follow her on Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope at Tia underscore Johnson underscore. Have a wonderful day filled with many blessings.